Hello Uplanders, I'm YK2012, founder of the Upland Guide, and today I'm going to explain the different types of collections that you can make with the NFL player legits. The table that you can see here is found on the Upland Guide website with a link in the description below, or you can scan this uh, scan me QR code to pull this page up on your phone. The collections you see here in this table are collections that are dependent on the player's position. The other half of the collections are not, and I will go into those in the second half of this video. Before I go into the different types of collections that you can make, I'm going to do a quick overview of the different types of legits that exist within Upland. There's a complete video here in the upper right hand corner, or you can use the scroll bar to jump to the next section if you are familiar with them. The first type of legits and the most common type are essentials. These can be purchased at any point in time within the fan store and they are unlimited in the number that you can purchase. It is bound by time and not by the quantity. So you can purchase as many of these as you want. You can choose if you want a hat or a jersey and any player that you want that exists in this roster you are able to purchase that from them. The next type of legits are replicas. This video was made in the middle of February 2022 and there aren't replicas that exist at the moment but you will be able to take five different essentials, combine them together, burn them which is essentially meaning to delete them in order to get a replica. One of the five that you choose to burn will be chosen as the influencing essential and that will give you a better chance at getting either that player, the, whether it's a jersey or a cap, or someone from that player's team. It's not guaranteed that you will get that, but the one of the five essentials that is chosen as the influencing essential will give you a better opportunity to get that. The next type of legits are mementos, and these are custom one of one mementos from each specific game. So here I can go into the store and view the game that was played and you can search and even scroll and see all of the different types of uh, players and the mementos and you're able to see it with it if it was sold and you can even go into the memento and you can take a look at the statistics of that player from that specific game. And these are going to be important when I continue in this video talking about the different types of collections. So here you can see that Joe Treon Shoyinka played in this game between Tampa Bay and New Orleans on December 19th, 2021. And it was game number 14 of the season. Tampa Bay lost that game. And you can see here that this player had 212 yards allowed. He had one sack. There are some other statistics here, but uh, these are the top five statistics that are important. Each position has its own statistics that are relevant to that. As I mentioned, the mementos are one of ones. Replicas, however, are copies of a specific memento. I could get a replica of this exact memento, and it would be limited in number but it would not be a one of one. It is not clear how replicas will physically look yet and how they will be distinguishable them from mementos. Each legit also has a fan points associated with that and you can learn about that in the video in the upper right hand corner where I describe everything you need to know about the different types of players and the different uh, amounts of fan points for each type of legit and I also have a link in the description below that details that. Now that I've recapped the different types of legits and before I talk about the collections themselves there are some important things that you need to know. The first is that there are 14 different collections for each team. When you are collecting fan points and growing the amount of fan points you have for each team you are only being compared to other players who are collecting fan points for that same team. The higher your fan points are, the more likely you are able to get in the front of the line in order to mint mementos, as well as autographs of players of that team. 
similar to fan points for a specific team, there is also fan points per player. So if you're looking to get autographs of a specific player, you would want to increase your fan points of that player. At the end of the collection season, which is defined by Upland, the top three players with the most fan points for each specific team will be getting a custom block explorer. There is no use in comparing your fan points to someone else who is collecting a different team. If you are doing that, you are in fact comparing apples to oranges. I'm going to describe towards the end of the video why that is the case, but first I'm going to go in and describe the different types of collections that there are. Now I'm going to start describing the different types of collections, first by talking about the first half of collections that are position dependent. And these are here in this table. You can see along the top are the different types of positions that exist within football and within the Upland Legits uh, series. And each row is the name of the type of collection. Similar to properties in Upland, where if you are able to have, let's say, three properties in a specific neighborhood, you will get a one-time bonus in Upix as well as a boosted earnings on your property earnings. In collections, you will also get a boost on your fan points or a multiplication factor and, and you will likely also receive some sort of bonus for completing the collection. This table is organized in a specific manner so it's easy to understand and break down the collections based on the positions of the players. If you are unfamiliar with football, I'm going to describe now very briefly how it works. And if you would like, you can jump to the next section using the scroll bar below. Here you can see the two teams are lining up for a new play, where the team in orange, where the team in orange is currently on offense, and the team in white is currently playing defense. This is the quarterback here, and the center is holding the ball and he is going to pass the ball back to the quarterback. This blue line is called the line of scrimmage. It is the dividing line between the offense and the defense until the ball is snapped. The goal of the offense is to try and either run or pass the ball all the way to the end zone. They have four downs in order to reach 10 yards. So this orange line is 10 yards from the line of scrimmage and you can see here that this is the third down and they have 10 yards to to go. The quarterback will receive the ball and based on a predetermined play he will either hand the ball off to someone like the running back or throw the ball to one of these wide receivers or some of these other offensive players who will be running down the field and trying to get open and away from the defender in order to catch the ball. The goal of these players who are each lining up in front of some of these offensive players is to cover them and to make sure that the quarterback will not have an open pass towards that player. The goal of these offensive players who are crouched over in front of the quarterback this is the offensive line. These offensive linemen, their job is to protect the quarterback, to give him as much time and space possible to create a play where he can move the ball down the field. These players that are lined up on the other side of the line of scrimmage, these are the defensive linemen, and their job is to try and get past the offensive linemen to prevent the quarterback from making a play by either interfering with him or even tackling him to the ground. I know I went through this quickly but this is the very basics and this will help you to now understand better the different types of collections. The first collection is called the chain movers and I describe this as the offense. In order to complete the collection you need to have the specified number of legits of each of the following positions. Quarterback, fullback, running back, tight end, wide receiver, center, offensive guard, and offensive tackle. When it says one legit, this can be either an essential, a replica, 
or a memento. It can be autographed. It could be a game ball. It could be any type of legit that exists. And if you are able to get these 11 legits, you will get a 200% fan boost on your fan points. If the total fan points of these legits were to be 2,000 fan points, then the boost would actually bring you to a total of 4,000 fan points. The second collection is called Captain, and this refers to the quarterback. The quarterback is referred to as the captain of the team. He is the one who calls the plays, calls the shots, and for this collection you have to have two essentials and either one memento or a replica of the same quarterback. Holding this collection will give you a fan point boost of two and a half times. The ball handler collection refers to the position players who receive the ball from the quarterback and try and move the ball downfield. For this collection, you must have the same player, again, two essentials, and either one memento or replica of a player that has one of these positions either a fullback, a running back, a tight end, or a wide receiver. Completing the ball handler collection will give you a multiplier of 2.25 times your fan points. The heavyweight collection refers to the linemen, and these are the players who line up on the line of scrimmage. On the offensive side, it is the center, offensive guard, and offensive tackle. On the defensive side, it is the defensive end and defensive tackles. So for this collection, you have to have the same player, and of that player, two essentials, and either one memento or one replica. Completing the heavyweight collection will give you a 2.35 times multiplier on your fan points. The next collection is called Defenders, and this refers to the entire defense, where you need to hold the specified number of legits of the defensive end, defensive tackle, cornerback, safety, defensive back, and linebacker. Having this collection will give you a two times multiplier on your fan points. The ball hawk collection, which also refers to defenders, refers specifically to the players who are trying to prevent the offensive players from catching the ball or from running the ball down the field and you need to have two essentials and either one memento or replica of a player of one of these positions the cornerback safety defensive back or linebacker completing this collection will give you a fan point boost of 2.45 times the kickers corner collection refers to the special teams and the positions that are part of this collection are either kicker punter or long snapper and for this collection you must have the same player two essentials and either one memento or a replica completing that collection will give you a fan point boost of 2.35 times I mentioned that this table is only half of the collections and if we scroll up we are able to see a complete list of all the collections here including the ones that you just saw that describes the type of legits, the number of them that are required, the fan point boost that you get by collecting them, and you can also categorize them if they are position specific. So yes means that they are included in the table below, and no means that they are not uh, related to the different positions. So these are, these are the ones that I'm going to explain in this section of the video. The first one is called the Authentic Collection. This requires you to have three legits which are specifically mementos. So these are again the one of one legits that are bought prior to the game itself. The Ball Hog Collection requires you to have two legits which are either replicas or mementos of a game ball. The Fire Collection requires you to have three legits and they can be either mementos or replicas or a, any combination of them with at least one fire statistic. 
the time capsule collection requires you to have three legits which are again any combination of replicas or mementos from the exact same winning game the triple threat collection is any legit of different players ultimate fan refers to any three legits that have autographs on them variants are essential variants either away caps or jerseys you need three of those and you are able to get an essential cap or jersey by purchasing the regular essential and 5% of those essentials will actually be essential variants so you can't go and buy them from the store on their own but 1 in 20 will actually be a variant there is a lot of important information on this page so I invite you to click on the link in the description below to read more about this. When you're looking at your fan points, there is no sense in comparing your fan points to fan points of someone else of a different team. As I said, each team is completely different, and there are many factors that can influence the maximum fan points that any person can receive of a specific team. So don't be discouraged if your fan points are very different from someone else who's collecting a different team. You can only compare yourself to other players collecting the same team. And I'm going to explain some of the reasons why that is actually the case. The first thing that can influence the, the amount of fan points that someone can have is the number of mementos that have been minted from that team. This obviously deals a lot with the popularity of the team. If you are collecting a team that is not as popular as a different one, people might be less inclined to be minting mementos from that team and those players. This would mean that there are less mementos that exist within Upland and that might increase their value because of their scarcity. The next factor is the position of the players that exist on the team. Not all the players that exist in the actual football team are included as legits within Upland. So it is possible that for a team there is a specific position where there are no players. For example, on the New Orleans Saints there is no fullback. So that would mean that you are unable to collect the chain movers collection for the New Orleans team. So this could greatly impact the amount of fan points that one can collect and that's why you cannot compare that to other teams. Something else that is important is the number of players that play a specific position or a specific group of positions. For example if you are trying to maximize your fan points for the kickers corner collection and if the specific team has four different players that fit into this category as opposed to a different team that only has two players it would make it a lot more difficult to maximize your fan points for this collection where there are only two players if you're looking to get mementos and there's only let's say uh, one kicker and one punter that could mean that there's a maximum of 32 jersey mementos that exist for each season. So those specific mementos might be much higher prices on the secondary market if there are a lot of players trying to compete over them. There is the time capsule collection that requires you to collect mementos and replicas from the same winning game. So if there is a team that has not won that many games, it's going to be more difficult to complete that collection. The same goes for game balls. The game ball is only awarded to one player from each game. If the best player in the game was not from the team that you are collecting, then there will be less game balls for that team. You might not be able to easily collect the ball hog collection. Maximizing your fan points is not necessarily such an easy thing to do. There are a lot of factors that go into it, not only within the Upland Metaverse, 
but it is very dependent on the team itself and how they perform on the field week in week out. There are near infinite possibilities and permutations and combinations of what you can do and how to grow your fan points and it is important to also have a strategy and understand the team understand its players the fan points and everything that has to do with these legits if you are actively trying to reach the top of the leaderboard if you have any questions please leave us a comment below don't forget to like this video and if you want to learn more about different types of legits and everything that has to do with this topic you can take a look on the right hand side we have our complete playlist there and lastly don't forget to subscribe